Brittany Baker and John Martin have spent the last few weekends exploring the region, <laughs> highlighting places and faces to help you plan your summertime adventures. A lot of time together in a small vehicle, <laughs> yeah, going cross country. <laughs> they continue their journey through New Mexico, getting high on a mountaintop and soaking in America's national pastime. Are you afraid of heights? I'm so afraid of heights. Like, what's what are you gonna make me do? What's too high for you? Uh, anything that I'm not strapped into something. Okay, well, you'll be strapped in to the top of a 10,000 foot mountain. You feel okay about that? Where are we going right now? I'll show you. How okay. did I get sucked into this? How did, wait, wait, how do you get sucked into what? I went around the room from reporter to reporter <laughs> and I was like, hey, you wanna spend the next like week with me in a car together? And like, you know, they all had to get like their hair done or something, they could, you know, whatever. And then you couldn't come up with an excuse, I guess, apparently. So I thought you were excited. I was excited. Wait, wait, you're I'm not, still excited. You're not excited to do this with I'm me? I'm totally excited. I just think of all the beautiful stuff you can see. How much longer do we have in the car together? <laughs> Well, we're starting at 6,500 feet here, and it's 10-4 at the top of the tramway. 1937, we had a skier on the other side. In 62, we ended up with a chairlift. But uh, the dream was always to be able to come up to the mountain, get up on top, to be able to go skiing and get out in the outdoors. A trip on the Sandia Peak Aerial Tramway transports you above deep canyons and breathtaking terrain over a distance of more than two and a half miles. It's pretty interesting how many people enjoy being outdoors, being on top of the mountain, and the thrill of being able to see. And see you can on a clear day nearly 11,000 square miles of New Mexico. The tramway's mission is to allow everyone access to beautiful views and adventure in Albuquerque. We put 50 passengers on each tram car. We're even uh, physically challenged can get up and out in the wilderness on top of the mountain. From the bottom to the top takes just about 15 minutes. And George insists that no matter your feelings about being suspended in air, the trip is well worth your time. There's a few people who are afraid of heights when they ride the tram. They'll hang on to the pipe in the middle. But uh, by the time they're coming back down, almost every one of them has gotten over to the window and looked down and relaxed. Take me out to the ball game. Are you excited? Yeah, for the isotopes? Yeah, I know it's supposed to rain though. <laughs> Dude, of course it's supposed to rain. But Everywhere that's okay right. because we're still going to see baseball players. The isotopes are the new AAA affiliate of the Colorado Rockies, continuing the rich history of baseball in Albuquerque. Isotopes Park has really become a special place in this community in our first 13 years. Seven million fans have come through the gates. Opened in 2003, Isotopes Park is considered one of the finest facilities in minor league baseball, incorporating state-of-the-art amenities with traditional charm and intimacy. There's a lot of great ballparks in this country. Uh, if you look at the top ballparks that were ranked and you look at the price tags of the construction uh, for those facilities, you're talking 75, 85 million dollars. This park was, was a renovation that was done for the 2003 season, 25 million dollars. Dollar for dollar, I would put this ballpark up against any of them in this country. One of the notable aspects of the ballpark is a 360 degree concourse stretching about a third of a mile, lined with food and drink vendors. People actually come here to get their exercise. Uh, some people come here to eat hot dogs and drink cold beverages and enjoy some baseball as well. So I've always said that you don't have to be a baseball fan to come out here. You don't have to be a baseball fan to go to, to a Sky Sox game either. It's, it's a great family, wholesome uh, entertainment venue, uh, reasonably priced, family affordable. That's what this industry is all about. You know what this trip confirmed for me? What is I already knew this anyway, but what? since we just went to the Isotopes, baseball players are hot. <laughs> Even in the rain, makes it a little better. Yeah. On, the, on the bright side of rain. Fair enough. <laughs> you know, they don't have cheerleaders at baseball parks, which is. I'll be there, cheerleader. Unfortunate. Ow! <laughs> Brittany. <laughs> Two things I've learned from this so okay. far, these adventures. Yeah. One, I have a whole new respect for Albuquerque in mm -hmm. New Mexico. There's a lot to do down there. There is a lot to do. Two, Brittany really enjoys men in tight pants. Well, <laughs> she's not alone. What are you going to do, Just right? 